here with Nicole Hockley. Four years ago this month, she lost her six-year-old son Dylan in the Sandy Hook shooting, and now she's on a mission to prevent that kind of violence. She's founding the Fa Sandy Hook Promise, which has just produced a new PSA to help parents recognize the warning signs that could trigger violence. Now, they are easy to miss. We want you to watch this closely, see if you can catch them. Also, a little warning. It includes a moment that may not be appropriate for small children. Take a look. And I was at a past. He was never sure just how long he would last. But there's not much love in a lonely room. Today's the day that Johnny met you. Have a good summer. Me hey, too. Thanks. Hey, you must be bored. This is the guy that I was running to in the library. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Guilty. So, oh my God. <laughs> so you like to write on desks? Yes. And Nicole Hockley joins us now. We saw that image right at the end, but there was so much else going on in that PSA. I, I could barely pick the stuff up. Tell us what we missed. Thank you, George. Some of the signs that we missed in that video were a student in the background studying a weapons magazine. Uh, which is a sign. We also saw the student being bullied in the hallway, which is another warning signal. And finally, we saw the student studying other shootings and how to use these firearms. And these are the signs that could easily be overlooked by parents, by teachers. What should parents be looking for? Parents should be looking for any sort of extreme changes in their children. So this could be um, excessive anger over uh, or aggression over a minor incident. It could be an extreme behavioral change or antisocial behavior. It could be ex excessive isolation and chronic bullying. These are all signs and signals. And of course, any overt threat, someone who's writing something or showing a picture of violence. And without the overt threats, I mean, sometimes these behaviors can be triggered by other things mm -hmm. uh, as well. But those are the kind of, of, of flags that go up. What should parents do when they happen? Parents should take it seriously and get help immediately. Don't ignore these signs and signals. Get your child help. Talk to the school. Talk to local law enforcement. Talk to a mental health professional. But don't just think it's going to go away. If you're concerned about a behavior you're seeing, get help. It gets a little trickier when it's someone else's child. Yes. What can you do? You have to talk to that other parent. It is absolutely and critically important that parents talk to each other. If you're seeing signs and signals, do something about it. If a parent isn't prepared to listen to that from you, then go seek help elsewhere. But don't be that person that walks away and thinks someone else will take care of it or someone else will do something. Do something yourself because if you don't take action, it could lead to tragic consequences. You have been doing so much to honor the memory of your son Dylan. What do you hope comes out of this? I want parents to know that gun violence and violence is preventable when you know the signs. This isn't something that we should walk away from or, or look away from. It's something that we need to be upstanders about. It's something that we need to be observing and taking action on because these are actions that can save thousands of lives. My son's death was preventable. Other, other deaths are preventable as well. Thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you for being on this mission. Thank you, George. All of you at home can see the full PSA at goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo.